What's up guys, this here is Nico Myers, and uh, today I am doing a review in my basement because I have gotten some pretty sick cloud coverage coming your way. Um, the only thing is, is I don't want to do that upstairs in the, like, I'm like, in like the main part of the house if you will, only because it might bother my one cat. So I decided I'm going to take it down here and we're going to take it from there. So today for reviews... Uh, I am doing the IPV Mini 2, which is a 70 watt device, ran on an 18650 battery, uh, which it does charge via micro USB, or you can just charge your, uh, your battery outside of the device, uh, which I went and bought four of these batteries, and I got chargers for them just in case um but this device so far since i've gotten it today has been amazing like i said it is a 70 watt maximum device it fires from 7 watts to 70 watts it reads down to a 0.2 ohms uh the voltage goes from i believe it was 2.7 to 8.7 or 3.7 to 8.7 something like that uh, and for the other part of this I will be reviewing the Atlantis 2 uh, so as you can see right off the bat I have it set on the 50 watt which is the absolute most for this uh, particular coil that I have in we have the 0.5 coil in here. I'm just going through the memory. It has a memory mode where it tells you how many of everything you have. You can see there on the screen that I am at uh, the uh, 0.5 coil on the 30 watt. So uh, let's go ahead and just see how this 30 will take it. It's not that bad. But if you want to make it, you know, one notch better, we're going straight to the 50, okay? So as you can see here, I am not at the 50 watts. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this for this one. for a half of like an actual puff or drag or whatever you want to call it on 50 watts of this device in this tank um i'm not going to put the point through uh the point three ohm coil in it just yet only because i'm not up to that capacity yet i guess you can say but on this 50 watt i can do this all day this is an amazing amazing device pros and cons for me for one is this memory mode bullshit where you hit the up button and you're going through all the different memories that come on it which is 715 I set a 30 and a 50 just for the review purposes and that goes up to the 70 and back down to memory 1 which is a 7 um that's really my only con with this device um it comes in four different colors. It comes in black, silver, I believe there was a golden finish and a gray finish, I believe. So naturally I went with black and got this uh, skin for it, which is called Naked Lunch. Which is just pretty much like a green x-ray of somebody's stomach, which I thought was amazing. Uh... I really just don't know what else to say. I'm virtually speechless over this combination that I chose of the Atlantis 2 and the IPv2 uh, Mini 70 Watt. Uh, to me, this is like the perfect matchup for me because I don't really, I don't see me going up any more than like 60 watts on any device whatsoever. And this is more so just for like, this, this is more so like a toy at this point for me. 
for when I want to go and, you know, chase some clouds. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let me actually give you guys a good demonstration here. Okay, I'm going to give you guys, like, the, uh, <gasps> excuse me, like a first-person view of what you're going to see when you're blowing this out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have caught all that. But yeah, I mean, I, I would so recommend this particular setup. If you're somebody that's into using an 18650 battery and want to do sub-ohm, but do something that's easier for you to do, uh, this is it. Because you get great flavor out of this. You get a really good vapor production. And uh, yeah, yeah, people that are going to be newer to vaping who are going to start doing... Like, you know, like, like an Aspire Nautilus or uh, something like that. They're going to be looking at this and they're going to say, Hey, listen, you know what? I want to get into this instead. And this is an easy enough setup to where it's not like... It's, it's not like an RDA or something like that. But, I mean, I can probably actually compete against some of like the smaller, like, coil builds on an RDA. With, like, a higher resistance like that. I, I could totally see where this would actually compete against something like that. All right, guys. Well, that's how I have enough time for that for today. Um, leave in the comments section what you guys think of the IPV2 Mini and the Aspire 2. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy some of these kind of videos or my other kind of videos, such as Funko Pop videos or any other nerdy videos. And uh, don't forget to rate and uh, share it with all your friends, guys. Later.